We're out today on the Cumberland River. Every year the TWRA goes out and they, they get brood fish so that the hatchery can produce more fish. And today we're gonna to take a couple boats, we're gonna run up toward uh, Cordell Hall Dam and uh, we're gonna watch the crew, see how this is done and, and what they get. What are those? So these are the these are the uh, arrays for the electrofishing electrodes. Essentially, this is the uh, hot wire, and the boat serves as the ground, and it pushes electricity through the water. What's a broodfish? That's the fish that's gonna spawn and have a bunch of babies that the hatchery can raise and release back into the river. This is striper brood stock fishing, what are we doing? Yeah, striper brood collection. Yeah, okay. so we're, we're at the, uh, just below Cordell Hole Dam, probably the uppermost part of Old Hickory Lake, I guess, on the Cumberland River. Caney Fork's not far away, and uh, it's usually a good striper run this time of year. Striper don't reproduce naturally. Is that, well, is that the case? They'll they'll attempt to do that, and there's there's some cases in which they do, but the the these eggs have to be suspended for 48 hours, um, and so there the river reaches aren't long enough for those eggs to stay suspended in that water. The water has to be moving, so um, <clears throat> that's that's pretty much what limits reproduction. So not far downstream, you know, you get some calmer waters and the eggs will settle to the bottom and, and suffocate. That was gizzard shad, wasn't it? That was gizzard shad. It's a lot of gizzard shad. Perfect size, too. We came through a bunch of gizzard shad. That's the best food for going out and trying to catch these fish. And just like clockwork, they chopped up a nice striker. Woo! Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, who picked this spot? We need more fish. You want to hold the paddle fish, Ashley? He's ready to go. Now they need to be generating a little bit or releasing some water. Just, I think the water's still falling. Looks like it's still falling. So these fish are probably holed up somewhere. They've all bunched up. It looks absolutely horrible, but those fish aren't hurt. They're just stunned. It's not making them feel great right now, but see way back there, they've already gone back down. What, I, what I'm coming to understand is that even though we have electricity in the water and we're shocking these fish up, it's still fishing. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Really good striper fishery below uh, Cordell Hole Dam. Uh, the state record uh, was caught from the upper end of Old Hickory, which is essentially where we're at. Well, what we do uh, every year around this time, we'll, we'll collect uh, brood fish, brood striped bass, so that we can take them back to the hatchery and spawn them and produce uh, millions of eggs and hopefully millions of fry, which we will redistribute to the different hatcheries across the state and then they'll grow them out and then stock them back into our state waters. Woo, yeah! We've seen everything.
everything today. I think we even saw a sturgeon further up river. Paddlefish, striped bass, white bass, all kinds of shad. Overall, it was a, a really interesting day to come out and, and see all those different types of fish. And we did, we were successful. We got several uh, good female stripers and we could use a few more males, but uh, I think we've got a good start.